Hello and welcome. Today on the sofa we have Alex, who's running for Education Officer. Please introduce yourself and tell us why you're running. I'm running for the position of Education and uh, basically I'm already part of the Exec, so I'm c current Engagement Officer in okay. the Students' Union, so um, I'm rerunning uh, for the Executive uh, right. for the role of Education. All right, sweet. Um, so what's your, what's your main motivation for running, the, running for this uh, position? I think it's to do with the fact that I really, really support and appreciate what the Students' Union does, otherwise okay. I wouldn't you know, be, be running for this, for this position at all. And it's yeah. about making sure that we can uh, uh, create a scenario where students at our university get the best experience they can, yeah, possibly, definitely. can possibly can. So it's about, that's my motivation I think, it's, it's, it's just trying to think that um, you know, I've, I've got some good ideas and I think that we can really put these through to, to students. Okay, so continuing with the idea of students getting getting the best. Mm. Um, course reps play, in, play a vital role, I feel, um, in, in students' educations. Um, how might you encourage students to actually get in touch with, with course reps and take the initiative to go to them and you know, ask them for help or mm. express any ideas? I do think course reps need to be more public. That's something um, which, through experience of being at university as well as being an officer, is okay. uh, something which I think is, need, needs to happen. And one of the ways that I want to sort of go about that is um, on my manifesto, which states that I want to give course reps more power. Okay. So I want to be able to have course reps involved with um, program approval panels and yeah. um, disciplinary hearings, okay. so that they're a little bit more public in the sense of actually being involved in students' lives rather than okay. just being perceived as this individual that just got elected okay, um, yeah, yeah. to, you know, just just be a course rep, should we say? Yeah. Give it some actual um, meaningful uh, purpose to it. Okay. Brilliant. Um, well. You know, University of Leicester, it's, it's known for being very diverse mm. for, for the amount of international students we have. Mm. And um, our system allows us to, to go for this major minor option in which you can, you know, obviously have a language as, as your minor. So like French, Italian, Spanish. Um, in terms of international students who can't uh, speak English that well, uh, would you take on board, you know, having English for beginners as, as, a, as a minor option? Um, we already provide services for students who don't um, have strong English speaking skills okay. um, beforehand. Um, so that what they can do is they can have the um, English tu tuition um, right. when they come to this university and still do their major minor that they want. Okay. I think it's all about the things with the major minor is, is we shouldn't make it something that um, you know, students have to do so for instance okay. if we said to international students you know you have to have this as your minor yeah. I don't think we should do that I think international students should be able if they want to do a major yeah. minor to still have the ability to make it as flexible around them as much as they like so the previous education officer uh, had attempted to make all the department paper free however they have not succeeded and not all the departments are down for that change yet how do you expect to um, carry this forward and make all the departments paper free? I mean, um, I'm still following the, the plan that the Students' Union put in place um, okay. two years ago, which is a three-year plan right. um, that focuses around um, the Students' Union and the university going paperless um, in that right. time period. This year has been um, a little bit more of a focus on the university. Okay. Um, in the first year, we've got the Students' Union to reduce paper consumption by 77%. Oh, brilliant. Uh, in the first year that we were actually doing this campaign, we thought it was going to okay, take yeah. longer. Um, but no, I think in going forward and in the future, we're going to see more and more paperless submissions yep. in departments. And okay. I think um, as that's one of my policies for international students, especially as you said earlier, yeah. who want to go home and what, still want to need to submit essays, etc. Yeah. It's going to be a lot easier for yeah, them to definitely, be able to definitely. do that. Okay, so um, feedback is, is, is a very key part of education mm. for, for students, whether they be essays or exams. But exams tend to not give feedback in, in like specific departments and stuff. Mm. Um, assuming you were planning to bring this into effect, how would you go around this? I think it's about um, lobbying departments, if I'm honest. It's going to be about making sure that there is a genuine behavioural change in okay. lecturers and departments to be, a, to be able to turn around and say, well, we will give you feedback on your exams. Okay. Um, I think they perceive um, exams to be very much on a case competition basis. Right. So by providing feedback, um, what you do is you lose that competition which is complete rubbish yeah. you know at the end of the day students should know how to improve if it's given yeah. for coursework we should do it for exams as well yeah you know it's one of those things that I think we could really 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 push for either next year and then the years following okay um, so it says here you've claimed 
um, to to introduce free printing in in the student union. I have it claimed. I want to. You want to? Okay. Let's yeah. let's say your aim. <laughs> your your aim is to introduce free printing. Mm -hmm. How are you planning on going about this? Well, it's something that the university will never do. So right. that's that's something that needs to be made very clear. The university okay. don't want to introduce free printing. Okay. Um, however, I think that we in the students' union can provide um, for students an efficient service that um, means that they can come up to students' union printer, print okay. what they need to print, and then uh, that process won't let them be charged for it whatsoever. Okay. Um, it's going to be a process which is going to take a lot of time. Um, right. We need to work out what the cost-benefit analysis of the yeah. whole thing is going to be. Um, but I think it's something that we could really, really push forward. We've got a lot, a lot of money. We could use these sorts of um, funds to do these sorts of projects. Okay. And it's going to be about, um, you know, with that and paperless submissions coming through, what we'll yeah. find is, you we'll know, link students, together, yeah. students more and more won't be printing as much paper. Okay, hopefully. no, that's brilliant. <laughs> that's brilliant. Okay, so Alex, before we end this interview, uh, we're going to do a quick, quick little game oh, to, okay. to end I like off. Games. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's a word association game. I'm sure right. you know about it. Uh, I'm going to fire out some words, okay. and the first word that comes into your head, just, just shout it out. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. You ready? First word is union. Politics. Education. Sustainability. Students. Beer. Inspiration. Um, Come on, got to be quick. Uh, no, I know, I, I, sorry. Um, Come on. Sorry. No, okay, we'll see. <laughs> move on, okay. move on. A Alex. Mitchell. Lost. Good. Goal. Goal. Goal, yeah. Goal. Uh, paper free. Change. Now. Leicester. Uh, Richard III. Thank you so much for coming, Alex. <laughs> Good sorry. luck with your election. Sorry, I was That's rubbish right. at the no end. Worries, no I apologise for that. <laughs>